games. I'm logged on to an MMORPG with people from all over the world and getting XP with my party using TeamSpeak. Tech. Stuff. Riot Control. All right. Hudson, welcome to your very first Riot Control. Yeah, this is exciting. Are you ready? I think I'm as ready as I'm going to get. You don't seem very ready. (laughs) So we're talking about Agents of Mayhem. We got a code for that game to play from Volition, and that game is out today on the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and the PC. Okay. Hudson, those are gaming platforms. I understand that so far. All right. Now, if I told you it was a third-person shooter and an open-world game. Okay. Okay, you got that? Third-person means that you aren't... You, you can, can see, see the, the guy character. that you're shooting with. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. And open world means you just are exploring instead of like going through a specific map. Well, you get a map that you get to explore. Okay. Yes. And there are a few different. Uh, I mean, there are actually a lot of different missions that they can send you on. You open up the map, and there are little activities that you can run around the map and do. Sure. Plus, you explore and find new things in Agents of Mayhem. Okay. So I've been playing it on the PC. Let's talk about what I liked. This game is a mashup. Think Overwatch meets G.I. Joe meets James Bond meets Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Okay. I know that's four things, but it's got the colorful cartoon-like stuff of Overwatch. It has the very much... I feel like the characters remind me of G.I. Joe. Like how each little G.I. Joe had its specialty, and it was colorful, and it had all this character and whatever. That's exactly what this feels like. G.I. Joe. But again, you could argue Overwatch as well. And then Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and James Bond, you're a group of kind of spies, but you're also shooting everything up, so it's not like you're hiding very well. Right. (laughs) You know, so whatever. Uh, The characters, I thought, were just hilarious and mostly fantastic. The setting is a futuristic Seoul, South Korea that has such a cool, unique look to it, and I think one of the biggest things the game has going for it is the style. It looks like a cartoon that has just been brought to life. And again, think Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., like especially in the comics, think G.I. Joe, where there are a lot of characters, both bad guys and good guys. As you go into missions, you actually watch animated cutscenes that, again, just look like a cartoon that you would pretty much find anywhere. I mean, but a good one. (laughs) Um, And Agents of Mayhem really kind of specializes in that, and the style is the stuff. The open world is also really good, but that kind of leads us into the stuff that I didn't like about it very much, is that a lot of the open world activities I felt like were kind of repetitive. There were just a couple of different, different kinds to do, and in the end, they were all really just about the same thing Okay, uh, as you're wandering around. It didn't feel like there was a ton of variety in the activities like that in Agents of Mayhem. Uh, The other thing that's, I think, worth noting is it's not a really crowded city, so you don't see a lot of people wandering around it. You see a lot of the same types of vehicles over and over again. Okay. So those are places, again, where it just didn't feel like there were a lot of variety in it. Uh, If there was one big bad thing that I would have to say about Agents of Mayhem, it just comes down to uh, the language. It's weird. Like, there's a ton of language and some off-color humor in it. And I know these are the guys that made Saints Row and like one, two, three, and four. So you kind of expect that. Hudson, those are previous games yes. that they made. Okay. okay. Just just trying to keep you yeah. with me. Okay. Heard of them, never um, played them. Yeah. Um, but I mean, the language in it is rough. And the thing about it is that it I think they're trying to be like Archer, where it's like, hey, look at this funny cartoon, but you know, the color uh, or the humor is kind of off color and the language and all that stuff. But they do such an amazing job of making it look and feel like a cartoon that I feel like it's a missed opportunity. This is a game that you you like, it gets an M rating for a reason, but it seems to me that by plucking out some of the language, you've got a T rated game that I think would have had some much larger mass market appeal. Like, it basically feels like they sat down and they were like, this is the game we want to make. It's going to be this, but it's going to be this adult, whatever. And I feel like that's kind of a missed opportunity for them. Okay. So, uh, it's Agents of Mayhem. It's out today. It's on the PC. It's on the Xbox One. It's on the PlayStation 4. And uh, remember, if you want to hear some more Riot Control, you can. It's in the archives right there at riot.radiou.com.